everybody and welcome back to the final part, part 4 of this walkthrough of a 6,000 square foot Craftsman new construction in Myers Park here in Charlotte. We're taking a look at the upstairs secondary bedrooms and baths, so not the most exciting part, but just trust me, you want to stick around and watch because there are some good things to see. So we're inside one of the secondary bedrooms right now. Hardwood floors continue into the uh, guest bedrooms as well. Nice walk-in closet over here with plenty of uh, storage space. And you know, you'd expect at this price point of 1750000 to have the hardwoods continue into the bedrooms as well, so glad to see that they do. And this bathroom in here is really pretty. Got a nice vanity there, kind of a, a blue tone to it. Beautiful marble top. That's actually the same marble that we saw downstairs in the kitchen. And then some nice pendants, having an elegant touch. And this is a Jack and Jill uh, type setup. We've got our toilet and our tub shower combo with some subway tile. Nice modern looking uh, shower head there into the next bedroom we go. Big window, nice uh, sleek ceiling fan up there. This is a great room in here. There is not a shabby secondary bedroom in this house, but I do like this one a lot. And we've of course got a walk-in closet. Let's head out into the hallway here, look down and see the open landing area there, the central staircase, and then let's take a turn and look at this laundry room. We'll look at the tile floors in here, this is great. This is exactly what people love these days, they nailed it with this. You've got the marble top, even in your laundry, the subway tile, which is actually really unique how they did the subway tile along the backsplash there behind where the washer dryer would go. We've got our marble tops, a beautiful uh, sink there with industrial faucet, and again, the subway tile. This laundry room is top of the line. Really great laundry room. Uh, I give it super high marks. And a Blanco matte black finished sink there. Blanco is a great brand. Beautiful tile. I mean, this, is, this laundry room is, they nailed it. Into another bedroom. It has the small little windows where you put your bed uh, in between. Again, that sleek ceiling fan. This big window. And this has its own private bathroom. Nice floor tile. The marble tops continue into here. You've got a window right by your vanity, which is neat. And they went with a dark subway tile. It looks really sharp. I love the dark contrast with all the white in the bathroom. And then Needless to say, another walk-in closet. This one is very spacious. Alright, we're going to head around to the next room. We'll take a look at the stairway there. The wainscoting uh, trim up here is great. So here's our last of the secondary bedrooms upstairs. And this has some very funky navy blue uh, tile in the bathroom, but I think it looks really sharp. We'll take a close look at that in a second. 
hardwood to keep going as well. But look at these floors in here. Some really small circle and tile there, maybe blue color. There's the marble there on the vanity top, nice big vanity. And nice sleek uh, mirror and lighting there. And then some white subway tile around the uh, tub shower combo. I like that bathroom, it gives me a coastal vibe. And I could add myself on repeat saying another walk-in closet. This one a little smaller than the rest, but still plenty of space. Got a neat little tiny uh, window out there that they threw in to add some extra natural light coming in. I love this grand uh, central staircase here. Take a look and we can see down uh, into the main living area there. And we loop around. Okay guys, I'm gonna head downstairs, take one final look right down here. That will conclude part four and all parts of this walkthrough. If you have not seen parts one, two, and three, definitely check those out. Uh, you don't want to miss them. You get a full in-depth look at everything you're seeing right now. This amazing kitchen um, and the full downstairs and basement as well. So again, this home is listed on the market right now for $1,750,000 in the heart of Myers Park. 6,000 square feet spread across three levels. Stylish features throughout. You guys, I give this home high remarks, high regards. I really like it, and I would recommend it if it's something that meets your criteria. All right, take care, everyone.